Hi everyone, this is Bill from TurboDial. In this video, we'll go through the steps that a calling agent should take to have a successful dynamic dial session. So in this video, we'll show you how to make calls in dynamic dial. Your manager will prepare the dynamic dial session for you. And so most of the work for setting up the session will already have been done and it's not part of what you'll have to do. However, if you do need to learn more about TurboDial and how to make calls, how to launch TurboDial and choosing your calling device and leaving voicemails and such, all of those guides can be found at the support site for TurboDial shown in that URL. Your dynamic dial session is pretty simple. Once your manager gives you the session to join, they will also give you the call outcomes you should be using at the end of your calls. And they'll show you what recorded messages you should be using to leave for voicemails. There's a couple other options that you'll get to choose for making your calls. And once you've got that set up, you can simply select the session in TurboDial and click Join. And from that point, you're going to be talking to contacts and saving call outcomes. And then talking to contacts and saving call outcomes as long as there are contacts to talk to or until you take a break. Let's talk about the agent cycle in TurboDial. And I'll also bring up a TurboDial window next to us here so it can also refer to these buttons. In TurboDial, the dynamic dial area is right over here, and you, there's a list dial tab, and there's a dynamic dial tab. You want to click that dynamic dial tab, and that's when you'll be able to see the various components of dynamic dial that you care about. The Join button has three different labels that you might see on it. When it says Join, that means you have not joined a dynamic dial session. When you click the Join button, when it says Join and you click it, you are now joined to a session and you are available to make calls. So you want to have your headset on and ready to go at that point. And you'll see a rolling circle on the button indicating that it's waiting to give you a call. When you are connected to a call, that label changed to a seconds counter that shows you how long you've been connected. And at the end of your call, you should hang up with the hang up button, which is this button right up here. And at that point, you are no longer joined to the call. The label turns back into join, and you should save the call outcome for that call. And when you are done, you're going to go right back to the beginning and click the join button again. So that's the cycle you're going to be going through. So in that cycle, there's three possible states. You're not joined, which is when the button has the join label on it. That means you're not available for calls. Or you are joined and available for calls, or you're actually connected to a call. You become available by clicking that join button, and when you do that, that causes TurboDial to start dialing calls in the list to try to find someone you can talk to. When a call is answered, it is connected to an agent, and that agent might be you because it's connected to the agent who's been waiting the longest. If no agent is available for that call, TurboDial is going to send that call to a recording. It's going to send it to this recording called the Spring Sale Offer. In this example, that's the NIST connection recording. Okay, let's talk about your options as you set up to make calls in TurboDial. The first thing you need to do is you need to choose your calling device. That's this section right up here in TurboDial. If you look over on the right, you can see it's currently set to this PC, but you can also choose one of the calling devices that's set up there. And these are typically phones, cell phones and desk phones that you may have in your office. If you choose this PC, then you'll use your headset with your computer. And as soon as you get a call, you'll be connected to that headset for that call. If you choose a phone as your calling device, when you click the join button, TurboDial is going to make a call to that phone, and when you answer, that's when you'll be available to receive calls. And you'll wait for your calls with your cell phone or desk phone to your ear and ready to hear a call. You'll likely also want to choose a recorded message. That recorded message is chosen here in this recorded message field, and you can see it's a drop-down where you can select from amongst several. When you choose a recorded message there, that becomes available to you then to leave as a voicemail recording when you run into someone's voicemail machine. And when you do that, when you get connected to a call and it's a voicemail machine, you can wait for the beep and then click the MSG button. What that does, it's going to play this recorded message out onto that voicemail machine while it hangs you up. And at that point, you can save your call outcome and click the join button and go back into waiting for further calls. Before you join, though, you also want to choose the list that you're going to be joining. And this is what's assigned to you by your manager. 
In this case, it says all hot leads, and that shows up right here. All the lists in your Infusionsoft account will show up here, but you should choose the one that you've been assigned. Now, the next option is this thing called an info pop-up. Info pop-up is an option that you have where you can either turn it on or turn it off. If you leave it on, then when you are connected to a call, you'll get a pop-up window of some additional information about the contact that might be useful for you during that conversation with the contact. If you find that you don't need that information, then you can uncheck that at any time and you won't receive that pop-up anymore. Auto-join is another option that you have. What auto-join does is if you enable it, then at the end of your call, when you are saving your call outcome, after you've chosen your call outcome and, and you click the Save button, TurboDial will automatically join you back in and click the Join button for you. So now you are available for calls again. If you don't have Auto Join enabled, then TurboDial won't join you to the session until you click the Join. Okay, joining a session. When you are ready for calls, you're going to click that Join button. That button changes into the rolling circle pattern and you'll hear Waiting for a Call. When you get connected to a call, you're going to see a sudden alert in the TurboDial panel with the name of the contact from Infusionsoft that has just answered the call. That's going to show up right here. Right now you see one that says Mary Nelson and it's not turned yellow. A yellow one will show up here that says this call has now been connected to you. If you click on it, it will turn white. That way you can keep track of which ones you've clicked on. But at that point, as soon as you see that notification pop up, you should start talking. You may or may not hear the other person saying hello. So you should start talking as soon as you see the notification. And at that point, the join button label also changes to a call second timer as shown here. Here's an example of the info pop-up. If you have that option enabled right, like that, then another thing that shows up when you are connected to a call is this info pop-up screen, which has the fields of the contact record that your manager decided should be displayed to you. And based upon your conventions at your company, there may be contact fields here that you want to refer to while you're having the conversation with the contact. If an answer machine answers, then since you've gotten your recorded message chosen over here, that you want to leave on answer machines, you can just press the MSG button. That's this MSG button right here. That means message. That, that's going to play your selected recorded message out on their answer machine and hang you up so that you can move on. At that point, you can just save a call outcome saying, you know, you left a message and then return back to the join step. At the end of your call, when the conversation is over, you can just hang up. You do that by pressing the hang up button. You'll then save your notes Type in your notes and choose a call outcome to save and click the green save button to save that call outcome. And then you're going to return back to the join step and start the cycle over again. Sometimes you might see an alert pop up in TurboDial that says, please hang up when your call is complete. No phone numbers are currently eligible to be called. What that means is that TurboDial has run out of phone numbers in this list that are currently eligible to be called. After some time has passed, numbers may become eligible again. So you can hang up for now and then check the status button. That's this button right here. Click that button and, and on that window that opens, you'll see some counters at the bottom that says numbers eligible to be attempted now and the numbers waiting to be eligible. If, if this is greater than zero, then you can join that session and TurboDial will make calls for you. If it's zero, then TurboDial won't make calls and so there's no reason to join the session. So if you see this alert pop up, go ahead and finish your call if you're on one and then click the hang up button. Another thing you might see during your dialing session is a alert in their TurboDial panel that looks like this one. This is a notify to call back alert. And it explains what has happened here. This contact has answered a dynamic dial call when there was no agent available. If you're available, you're not on a call, then you should go ahead and click that blue arrow. That's going to tell TurboDial that you are claiming this contact and it will change your TurboDial display to be that person. You can then hit the call button and call them directly, not using dynamic dial, but just using a direct call in TurboDial. And you can proceed and have a conversation with them and then leave a call outcome. That's all the steps there are for being a calling agent to dial a list in TurboDial. Happy dialing, everyone.